last time, the number went crazy. One of them told me, don't change nothing. Leave it like that. I said, okay, <laughs> I'm going to leave it like that. <laughs> but, man, we got Melvin Farmer and Atola Marv in the building. Atola Marv. Man, I <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. And hey, man, the day is a, hey, this is a day that the Lord has made. I rejoice yeah. and be glad in it. I like to start off like that, man. We got two esteemed guests here today, man. These guys, man, they really don't need no introduction. They've been here before, man. Uh, they actually pushed my numbers up a lot when they was here last time. The number went crazy. One of them told me, don't change nothing. Leave it like that. I said, <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it like that. <laughs> But man, we got Melvin Farmer and Atola Marv in the building. Atola Marv. Man, yeah. I Atola. That's right. Man, you know, I, man, you know, when we did that last interview, so when you think about the character versus the, the, the individual as far as the way the mother brings this child to, to her image when she's dealing with it, do you, I mean, do you guys see the difference or do y'all feel like it's the same? First, let me start by saying this. And it ain't gonna be no rebuttals about this. Shock jocks, killers, whoever the fuck run in their mouth. I represent LA. And I represent this crip shit. I don't give a fuck about a character, but I care about a person's legacy. Don't no nigga disrespect Nipsey Hussle. Monster Cody, Tookie, Raymond, watch it, nigga. It's tried by 12 or carried by six anywhere, anytime. Man, hey, man, when y'all was together here, that was a crazy time, wasn't it? Yeah, no, right. I'm not and talking I, I, about I, I, none I, I, of that. Well, I'm y'all talking can talk about without me then. No, 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 no. no, no. Talk no I ain't like that, bro. No, 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 no. We no, ain't talking. We came to talk. No, nigga, I ain't. No, I ain't. I ain't got to justify a motherfucking thing without I said my nigga. I done said it. I still got I, people call they, that interview is the most viewed on our channel by far. Right. Well, wow. it's one more with country, that dude from Country One, mm -hmm. Michael Bless. But other than that, them two right there. Went crazy just like Melvin said. Melvin's, I, I was like, man, messed up my whole interview, man. I said, we both been doing it. Melvin walked like, leave it alone. When you put it out, it's yeah, going to do better. Know, huh? I felt that uh, that was real reality TV, right. that it should have been shown how it was, and they take the contents. Uh, uh, it, it, it was really, you know, you hear people say, uh, like I heard a person say, oh, Snoop was disrespectful, Crip walking at the thing, but by the same token, uh, what happened there it was just an aberration, uh, but it did uh, bring awareness and uh, hopefully created opportunities for everybody involved. Right, because when we came together, we didn't. Nobody knew that that was going to happen. Some people might have had a feeling, but we came with genuine hearts, hoping that we could all we could all come together to resolve something. That was the main purpose for that meeting. Well, but, at the end of the day, when you really think about it, just the fact that you know. Man, you, Melvin keeps saying, I hear him campaigning everywhere. I'd be like, I told you E to come to me first. I'd be like, but man, I did, but I just don't feel like this dude was not, was going to, you know what I mean? Nah, because At some point, this conversation was not going to be something where people were going to just talk. I didn't feel that way. What did you think? I was hoping. <laughs> no, nah, but we didn't it. come in here with no ill. If you remember, Charleston White set the video up for us to come here. Correct, but when, when, I, when, when I, I told him went over there and said what he said at the first so when you go back before and look the at meeting my, started, before, before it, it I knew that kind of threw my mold off you know what I'm saying yeah. and whatever y'all had going it was personal and what you said about buntry you know it's just like it affects us because it's like whatever you and him did when you said fuck buntry you know what I'm saying it like you ain't been to Compton. You did, this brother died for some stuff that was on politics. You, you feel what I'm saying? So I just wanted to clear that with you. You know what I'm saying? You understand where I'm coming from? No, not really, but we'll talk about it. Yeah, yeah, we talk, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, yeah, no, we'll, no. We'll, we'll, we'll chop it up. Because he walked over there and you said something to him. You remember that? Yeah. And when you said that, he was like, we'll just talk about it on thing. And right. it was like, at that point, I'm like, well, this this here was kind of wild. You I know saw, what I'm saying? I saw his vibe changed a yeah. little bit yeah. at that point. So, But at the end of the day, 
do you feel like it accomplished anything? And I'll go to you first with, for, with y'all doing the interview here with Charles. Yeah, it, it, it accomplished a lot, but it really showed where a person's heart was. Like I told another brother that uh, dude is not a person that is any position or has any desire to debate. He likes to dictate. So he has no podcast he ever did that he dealt with somebody that had a counterpoint to what he says. He's so used to running his mouth and saying what he say and letting it go. Uh, Mob James couldn't out talk him. Um, Cash Jones, uh, Black 100, couldn't out talk him. But he brought some people that really was intellectually way over the top of him, he wasn't gonna happen. Wow, um, you, when you spoke, Melvin Farmer, everybody, but you seen Carlos Miller came on here the other day, he say, I'm, a, I'm gonna say this, it ain't gonna be no rebuttal. You know, <laughs> he had, he was, right. he was, he, 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 you could tell he watched that over and over right. again, right. and he like, he's like, I'm gonna come in there like that old nigga did when he come. <laughs> I talked to you in Vegas and I checked you, you know. You just you know, check me. <laughs> First of all, oh, yeah. don't nobody disrespect <laughs> Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle. <laughs> you watched that one. Tookie Williams. <laughs> Monster Cody. Bontry. Me. And me either, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but the funniest shit was right after he finished that nigga Charles and said, nigga, I done disrespect all of them niggas. <laughs> Man, did you see that one? Yes, I mean, they talk yeah, about that all that over the Just the way, just the way yeah. how he spoke about your it, demeanor. your tone, yeah, man. your everything. It's a wonder nobody came out with shirts that have all of that. Uh, they in. have that. Uh, they be, uh, in fact, we're starting to market. Uh, uh, there be no be debates. Uh, tup, uh, uh, I don't drink mugs, the, mugs, yeah. uh, <laughs> t-shirts. Uh, uh, there do be no debates because, as you see, as we go further along in uh, our, our endeavors on social media, whatever, whether it be audio, video, or print, a lot of times this really isn't no debate because we're stating facts as opposed to a lie, and those two conversations can never uh, coexist, a lie and the truth. So uh, a lot of people thinking, because uh, uh, if you remember, I said I wasn't even getting up there this right. Yeah, Y'all pulled me up yeah, there, Yeah, I yeah. I told we you, open it up, and this ain't just be happening, Mar. Remember, we went to Gangsta Chronicle and we had to tell them how to open it up with one line. We always tell somebody because you can't know what our life is. So we'll point you in the right direction, like when we did Gangsta Chronicle. Uh, they couldn't figure out. I just start off say, uh, take us back to 1971. Any shows we do, you'll see with something where we don't script it to open it up to get it to where we go. So a lot of people had that interpretation of feelings that uh, we was coming there to, you got to remember, me and him were still friends at that time. Right. Yeah, yeah. Still talking at mm -hmm. that time. Well, but, that's the way I even met you was through Charleston White. I tell people that all the time. They like, oh, you, it, it, it was a narrative being thrown. Like, I just brought y'all down here to set something nah, up, and it already, wasn't even like that. But people, We had already met in L.A. But people don't realize I put Charleston White in the game and brought him breath from 2018 when he was a fan to come meet me. Charleston never was game banging. You think Charleston could come to an A-Trey Park and say he from a rolling 60 to me? No, I'm going to immediately, I'm going to say, here, yeah, you called him. But that's for us that going. He never was a game. So a lot of times, uh, the narratives that you're hearing, because they're one-sided uh, conversations, you don't hear the other side. And I don't think that's fair when it comes to accountability and reporting on these podcasts as to where people can say stuff and things and slander your name and try to change your legacy, but then they don't get the chance or the opportunity. Why Say Cheese ain't got us on his show? Why Vlad ain't got us on his show? Because it will kill off that shit. Wow. They don't want the truth to be heard. And that's a problem. Why we got to go through that? We paid our dues. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.